Well, if you miss me, <laughs> I'm back. Um, I haven't posted any videos lately. Um, needed some time uh, off for my work and some other issues, but I'm I'm back back again. In the meantime, I uh, sorted a lot of uh, videos that I had, video material, uh, because uh, I usually only show you a very small part of each project itself in every video and then over time a project will finish. Uh, I'm not that organized, I'm just doing what I want to do at the time that I am doing it. So uh, it's quite difficult to get a good overview of one certain part of the van. Um, so what I'm, I have been doing is uh, collecting all my video material that I have and I will be starting to post some uh, some of those videos that are really oriented on, on one specific project that I've done in the past. Um, so those will be showing up uh, shortly as well, as well as of course my hopefully my regular weekly videos. Since I will be moving into my van uh, next year, uh, I've also uh, put a lot of work uh, in the meantime in uh, setting up a new website as well as a new channel uh, uh, on which I will be posting my videos and my stories uh, when I'll be living in my van. Uh, so all my experiences and adventures uh, that I'll be doing hopefully next year uh, traveling through, throughout the United States, um, I'll be posting those uh, as well. As soon as that's uh, ready, I'll be uh, posting uh, that information too. But it's time now to continue with the van, so let's get started. Come on, Joey. Come on. Yeah, let's get started. that I uh, finished the steps all uh, some time ago uh, but um, one thing was still lacking uh, I painted it black and that's not so clever when you have to get in out of your van at night uh, so what I did is I uh, bought some uh, reflective tape um, and also something that uh, it's empty uh, empty slip uh, and I'll put some uh, some of these strips on here, so it's a little bit safer at night. Okay, let's see how that works. Then the second one. That works. Yeah, some time ago I found out I had a problem that um, appears to be very common uh, looking at the forums. Um, I hit when I uh, started filling my uh, gas at the gas station I hit my door when stepping out and it broke off the top hinge of that door um, so after some research uh, uh, I found a few possible solutions first of all the, the official one is to replace the door um, what that means is there's a whole part that runs all the way down here 
you have to remove that and replace it entirely. And the price, the cost of it uh, runs between, dependent on what you're looking for, um, between about 50 and 150 bucks. Uh, instead of replacing it by an entire new door, regular door for a gas, this is a gas uh, tank, um, I have an option. I have a 110 volt cable connection here under the uh, driver door, which I can use to hook up to 110 volt. Uh, what I would be able to do is, instead of buying the door for a gas tank, um, to buy the same door but then for a diesel tank. The diesel door has two separate doors, one for the regular diesel, in my case the gas then, and another one for the diesel fluid. And I can use that second door uh, to host the cable, electric cable in there. So that's an advantage. So I, if I am forced to replace the entire door at a later stage, I might choose that diesel door, that double door, so I can host my cable in here as well. But I don't want to spend the money for it if not necessary. Um, so uh, the uh, the other solution was uh, is to replace that hinge more or less uh, with a couple of uh, zip ties. So I have two small ones and two larger ones. I think I'll be using the larger ones. Um, and then reinforce that top hinge and that should solve the problem uh, at least for some time. So this is that filler pocket as they call it and you can see at the, the top where the hinge is uh, slightly disconnected. Uh, the part where the hinge fits into is, is made of, out of plastic uh, and one of these clips has broken off the one on the inside. Uh, so I'll have to push it back in and then pull the uh, zip tie and hopefully that'll uh, keep it just a little bit more to the inside and it should work. So now I got two two openings to pull the zip ties uh, through. The white part of the zip tie should be located on the inside because if you do it, leave it here on the outside, which is the easiest way, um, then it gets in the way between the door and the hinge. Now I got both of them in there, mostly. The first thing what I have to do right now is force that hinge back in its original position and then pull on the zip ties to keep it there. That's this. I think that that's the tightest I can get it. And I'll try it with the bottom one as well. And I 
I'm using a metal saw blade to cut the ends off. If I'm careful, I won't damage the pain. At least it's not loose anymore and it's almost back in the original position in such a way that if you don't know you wouldn't see it. Slip goes behind the door so that keeps it closed. Yeah, that was a cheap solution. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.